Good morning, guys. Uh, this will be our lesson. If we're on track, this is um, November 20th. This is our Friday lesson. Uh, hopefully you have already taken the opportunity to check our new Native American project. Um, your job was to just get familiar with the layout of it and then you were supposed to kind of figure out which region most interests you. So I will share my screen with you so you can hopefully see my, well, what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it's taken a minute here. Let's see. So let's go in your Native American project. So remember, not Native American stories, but the project. You're going to go, um, I do have a video for yesterday in case you got a little lost. This one will be on here as well. Um, if you click on the project, your job was yesterday to choose a region. If you haven't done that already, um, you can certainly do that now as we take a look. Uh, let me see in browser. Uh, just think of what things interest you the most. Maybe you like the art. Maybe you like the area. You are interested in some of the cool um, cult, uh, cultural things or just whatever it is. If you're interested in learning about this area, that's great. So um, let's pretend I was scrolling through. Oh, there's Eastern Woodland. So that's up like New York and Ohio and Illinois, all those great places. Southeast, that's like Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, maybe a little Texas. Does that interest you? Um, if you keep scrolling down, there's Great Plains. Um, that's like right in the middle, maybe a little Idaho, Montana, North and South Dakota. Uh, Wyoming, maybe even a little Colorado. Um, then there Southwest is California, New Mexico, Arizona, possibly a little of Texas, maybe a little bit of Mexico. There's the Northwest Coastal, which is a little bit, it's on the coast on Canada and part of Washington, if you guys can see, maybe even a little bit of Alaska. Um, so near the water, but this could definitely be in Washington state. And then there's the Arctic, which is, well, uh, Alaska is part of the United States, but it's also the uppermost part of Canada, which is very, very cold. Whichever one of these is just jumping out at you, go with your gut, like, ooh, that looks interesting. I wanna learn more. Great Basin is where we live, basically. It is near Yakima, maybe the tippy top of California and all of Oregon. So um, that would be a, an area or a region you're very familiar with, hopefully. So whatever one of those jumps out at you, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna stick with Great Basin just because you know what? We know a lot about Great Basin. My job would then be to uh, look for those important things that I know I'm gonna need to record. So remember how each of the areas started with this tool. When I'm in the Great Basin, I'm going to look for transportation. So how do they get around? I'm going to be looking for what kind of food did they eat? Where did they find it? Did they make it? Uh, what kind of shelter did they live in? Um, did they build it themselves? Did they just find something? What was the environment like where they lived? And then any other interesting facts. And I do not have to fill this out. I want to kind of reiterate that. It, this part isn't mandatory, but it is helpful uh, when you guys decide to go into the part where you create your project, because if this part is already filled out and you've already thought through your sentences, creating that actual PowerPoint should be a breeze. So I know I'm looking for transportation. What I would do is go to my assignment. I read through the entire thing and then where it says anything about transportation. Uh, be through this. So my job is to kind of look through and if you guys, I know, I don't know if it's going to let me use the highlighting tool, but I know that that's super helpful for keeping track of that important information. So let's say I'm in here. It is already saving this for some reason. Um, 
So let's see. Oh, the early people were nomadic. This meant they moved about. They moved to find food. Some tribes rode horses and some walked. Ooh, this sounds like important information for my transportation area. So I would just click where it says transportation. I Do you see how it um, makes circles and lines around here as if you can move it or you can um, delete it? Try not to hit delete as much as possible. Um, you can just see where um, like when you click in each of the boxes you'll see the little cursor blinking which means if i hit a button that's where it's going to type so doo -doo -doo, see how it types there um, so i can say they were nomadic ah! and i do realize it's a little small so i can actually change the font correct my spelling I can, if I click and drag to highlight this, I can make my font larger. I can change the type of font it is. I can highlight it. I can do all those things. I just have to be careful not to delete in. Um, if I am noticing, hey, it's a little small for me to read or to work on, you guys know down here, you're, you should be able to change the percentage that you zoom in or out. Uh, then, if that one doesn't work, remember there's always view at the top. I can zoom and I've been doing zoom to fit. But you guys mess around with the percentage that you prefer and you can type right in. So I'm going to delete this because I don't want it to stay on there. And I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these. What kind of food did they eat? Where did they find it? What kind of shelter did they have? Did they build it? Did they find it? Uh, was it a permanent shelter or not? And that is what we're going to hopefully for the next few days. I my goal was to have you guys have all this research ready to roll by Monday. So if you could finish up a lot of it today and we can continue working on Monday, then on Tuesday we can start putting together that project and I would love to be able to be finished with it uh, before your little Thanksgiving break so that you guys don't have anything on your minds that is taking away from family time. So um, again, make sure you find each of those things. Record the information if you can. If not, I was hoping we could highlight, but I don't think it's letting me do that, which is fine. So um, take those notes. If you can't find something, let me know. If you say, hey, I am not able to find this specific thing, you can send me a message on Teams. It could be an issue with the research, or maybe you just need a little help finding it. Just let me know and we can work on it. Uh, make sure you come to class to Monday with any questions or concerns so that we can take care of it before our big long break because I don't want you guys struggling. So uh, again, today's main idea, choose, hopefully you've already chosen your region, check it out, see if you can answer all the questions in those boxes, even if you don't fill it in, make sure that you've researched it so that we can start building our project hopefully Monday. All right, I will hopefully see you soon and I will talk to you later. Bye.